Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and some blue and black. Let's come right up here to the top and begin dropping in a little sky. We're not going to see too much sky today. Just a little something way up here at the top. With some black and blue and a little bit of brown on the fan brush. We can drop in a mountain up here. Now this mountain is very, very far away, so we're not going to use much paint. That's why we're not going to put it on with the knife. It's very, very, very little texture on here. Just rub on a little color with the fan brush. With the one inch brush, we can grab this mountain and blend it. I'm going to grab it at the top and then blend it gently down. This will make it look even further away. Make it very soft and misty at the bottom. In fact, you can even go over the entire mountain to soften all these edges out here. With the filbert brush and some white, we can drop in some extra little details back here on this mountain. Now this is kind of a different way to do this. Normally we don't, we don't do the mountains with a filbert brush but you can get a, a different effect. It's good for a far away mountain because it allows you to get very, very soft little highlighted snowy areas pretty easily. Just rub it in with the filbert brush. With the fan brush and some brown and black and white, we can make a little rolling foothill back here. We'll just drop in the basic shape and outline. And then fill it all in with a good dark color. It's not so dark that it comes too close, but it's just a little bit darker than the background there. Now maybe we'll just keep using the fan brush and pick up it's more of the same colors, brown and black and blue. This time, not so much white. And we're gonna have another little foothill in the distance here. We're going to create a lot of layers and depth in this painting. Notice how I'm kind of wiggling around that brush. So we have a very uneven line there. Don't want any symmetrical patterns in there. With the filbert brush and some yellow and green and red, we can begin dropping in just a few little trees back here. I'm just kind of dotting with that filbert brush, just touching in and getting a little tree shape. Not much detail back here because this is still pretty far away. We just want a soft outline of trees with the same colors again. We're going to do one more. This one, let's, let's start it up here. It's big, maybe a little taller even. Yeah. And have it run right down, very steep. Have it kind of connect up with this one. Now look, this one is going to be the darkest. I'm going to throw a little bit of green in there. We're starting to see some green colors now. Now I've changed back to the filbert brush and some of that yellow and green color we were using before. And we can come right up here and tap on some trees. In fact, maybe we'll cover up a lot of this little mountain with trees and vary the colors. Sometimes hit more of the red and more of the yellow or whatever, just to change it up. That way they're not all the same exact color. It'll make your painting look a little more interesting and it's easy to do. Now with a little bit of light gray on the knife, we can begin dropping in some highlight and turn this into a cliff. Just rub it right on with the knife. We don't want a lot of texture, but there's certainly more than the background. There, very, very steep angle here. Remember that angle, because I really want this to drop straight down. 
with the one inch brush and some gray, a little bit of blue. We can come right over here and just pull down. I'm gonna pull straight down to create some reflections in the, maybe we'll turn this into water down here. So these are gonna be some reflections in the water. A little more blue there. Now we should reflect those colors. We don't have to reflect the shape. We'll just get the colors close, just a little. Just suggest where it might be. And that's all we wanna do. You could go ahead and paint it like a mirror reflection if you wanted to. I just don't think I'm gonna do that today. And darker over here, because this is the side that's in shadow. With the fan brush and some black, brown, green, a little touch of red. We can, we can come right here and maybe drop in a few little trees. I just gave myself a few little lines. Then we can tap right along those lines to create these trees. Just pick a corner of the brush and tap. These trees aren't very detailed. They're just kind of hidden back here. And mostly we'll just see the tops anyway. So you don't have to spend too much time here. With the one inch brush and some black and green, red, a little bit of blue and brown, just a lot of good dark color. We can come right along the bottom of these trees and tap. In fact, let's tap all the way around. Look at this. We can create sort of a little recessed area back in there. There we go. So you can form Form your land any way you want. You can create any shape here. Maybe, well, I know, let's bring it over here. We can kind of figure out what's what later. Maybe even throw some rocks in there. We're just underpainting right now with a very dark color. Before we go too far, I want to add in one more rock right there. And it, it'll push that other one back. Just an extra little something kind of add some more detail. And we'll, we'll highlight it the same way with the knife. Pick up a little bit of light paint on the knife, a little bit of yellow and white mostly. Just drop on an indication of highlight. Back to the fan brush and some black. And we need a, a darker reflection right under this. So we'll just drop it in very easily. With the one inch brush and some yellow and red a little bit of green. We can tap on some highlight back here. Just touch with that brush and let the paint come off. Don't push too hard. Don't force it to come off the brush. If it doesn't come off, then you can add a few drops of paint thinner. That will thin the paint so it'll stick right on top of this thick paint we have down. With the one inch brush and some yellow and white, I'm gonna show you a little trick here. We can take the brush and touch and get a little bit of sunlight out on that grass. Just touch very, very lightly. But look at where I'm putting it. See this bright area over here? I think the sunlight's coming right across there. And it'll hit this grassy area right down here. It'll also hit that cliff over there. But I'm gonna keep it dark over here and it's also gonna get darker as it comes up to those trees. With some black on the knife, we can rub in just a few little rocks. This helps to really detail out this foreground and kind of a smaller one. There. And quite a few over here. Just throw them in like this. With some brown and white, we can add on a little bit of highlight just sprinkle it on with the knife. Just touch and barely let that knife bounce right along the rock. Don't wanna to push too hard or you'll lose all the nice texture in the rocks. And that's what makes them look very detailed. Now I think in our painting today, we need a tree. So let's just drop one right in. And watch, watch how this pushes everything back. Right there, let's, let's have it stop right in there. 
And look, you just pushed all that background even further away very easily. We'll put some highlight and leaves on this tree in just a second. With brown and white on the knife, we can add on a little bit of the highlight. Just tap and touch and work your way along the tree. Keep a lot of that light on the left side and then not so much as you come around the tree. And that'll give it a, a three-dimensional look. Now with the one-inch brush and a little bit of dark paint and paint thinner, we can come up here and add a few leaves onto this tree. Now that paint thinner in there is very, very important because I don't want to mix with the background here. So you add a couple of drops of the paint thinner so you can go over all this stuff in the background without it mixing together. With the liner brush, we can pull up a few little blades of grass. This gives the painting a nice detailed look and it helps to finish it out, make it look complete. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVDs. And thanks for watching.